Welcome to the third video in a series of four where I'll be showing you how to use Watson X Flows Engine to build AI flows. With Watson X AI Flows Engine, you can build AI flows using a declarative programming language. And you can also switch out the model that you're using. One of the unique things about Meta's Llama 3.1 is its huge context window. And I'll be showing more about the context window later on. The Llama 3.1 model is available on the Watson X platform, but you can also find all the information on their own website. We're going to be using some of the prompt examples that you can find here. It's really important when you use a model to look at their documentation and also look at the prompt card or the model card, because this will really help you understand what the model is, what its capabilities are, uh, things like the number of params or the training data, but also the token count, well, both for the context window for input output, uh, but also the token count on its training data. So this is important information to know just as the cutoff date. And you can find model cards for all the different models on GitHub usually. So let's dive into VS Code and start experimenting with this latest model from Meta. This tutorial builds upon an earlier tutorial. So if you don't know how to set up what's an XAI flows engine, make sure to click the link in the description and find out how to get started. Getting started is free and you can get access to all the models that are available on the what's an X platform. There's no credit card needed, so feel free to try it out today. I've set up a new VS Code project where I have a WXFlows toml file, which contains my flows. So flows are important in Flows Engine because the flow will determine how you interact with the LM. So in here you can see I have a flow called text completion. It has a step called templated prompt, and then it has a second step, which is called completion. And in the completion step, the access to the model is defined. We're using two arguments here. One is model, the other is parameters, and I'll be explaining those later on. But as you can see here, the model is variable. So I can put in any model that I want that's available on my AI engine. If you look at my templated prompt step, this is where we define a prompt template. I briefly showed the model card and the documentation for Llama 3.1. If you look at this flow, you can see there is a couple of tags, like begin of text, then there is the uh, headers, there's one for system, where we're setting the system prompt, so we let Llama know that it should be a helpful assistant. And then we also set a user tag right here, where we insert a question. So this is a very simple text completion flow, meaning that I can ask a question in natural language, and I'm going to get a answer in natural language as well. I can deploy this flow to my endpoint by running wxflows deploy, and it should only take a couple of seconds. And afterwards, I will be able to use this flow in any application. And for today, I've set up a JavaScript example. So this is using the wxflow JavaScript SDK. I have it right here. You can see I'm connecting to my flows endpoint using my API key. So it's important you insert the endpoint and the API key. Uh, and then you need to insert your flow name. So this is the flow that I just showed you. And then you can insert your question. And you can also see the variables that we had before. So parameters, I didn't set much here. I could set temperature or the decoding method or stop sequences and then the name of the model. So I'm using Meta Llama 3.1, 8 billion parameters, and then the instruct version. I can also ask like who is the president of France, and this should be an easy question if I save this. I only need to execute my node application. So I have a terminal open in the app directory, and from here I can run node in next.js. And this should then print the answer right here in my terminal. As you can see, I'm doing a console log statement here. So it's correct, it shows Emmanuel Macron has been the president of France since May 14, 2017. So this isn't the most complicated uh, flow to show you. So let me show you a slightly more complicated flow. And for this, I'm going to show you a flow to build a code to natural language. If you look at the documentation for Llama 3.1, you can also see that they call out specifically code generation or natural language to code or code to natural language, and also examples like tool calling. So let's look at a different flow where we'll be using natural language and a SQL schema 
And we ask all sorts of questions to the LM, like, can you give us a list of employees or actually the queries to retrieve a list of employees? So let's dive back into VS Code and show you how it's done. Back in VS Code, I'm adding my new flow, which I'm going to call Code to Natural Language. In here, I have the templated prompt step again. Um, if you look at the prompt template, you can see it's slightly different. This time, I not only insert the question, I also insert an additional instruction based on the table schema, question, SQL query, and SQL response below, write a new SQL response. So I basically tell the LM, give him my question and give him my database schema, return the SQL query to retrieve data and nothing else. And then you can see in my completion step, I'm hard coding the model to be LAMA 3.1 8B instruct. I can go and save this, and I need to make sure that I run wxflows deploy again so that my flow will be available on my endpoint. In my JavaScript code, I need to make a couple of changes. I'm going to change my flow name to code to NL or natural language, and then I need to paste my question here. And this question includes a SQL schema. And you can find the full SQL schema in the tutorial, and the link for the tutorial is in the description of this video. So I have a question, give me a list of employees and the countries they work from. And then I also going to give Llama 3.1 a database schema. So I have a table called countries, locations, departments, employees. So I want the list of employees. So that should be straightforward, like select whatever from employees. But then I also want the countries they work from. And countries is a table that's linked to locations and locations is linked to department and then the employee is linked to a department via a department ID. So I'm going to ask MetaLama to figure out how to get this data for me. So I'm going to save my index.js and then I'm going to run this Node.js code again. And it will probably take slightly longer this time, but as you can see, it gives me a response. So it says select e.firstname, e.lastname, l.country, and country name from employees. And then do some joins because I need to join my employees table with um, departments and then departments with locations. And then locations with countries. So the natural next step would be to, wherever you connect to your database, use this query and see if it works. You can also, of course, build an application around it. And I'll be releasing new videos on building integrations with Flows Engine and databases and other systems. And for this, we're going to use something called tool calling. So make sure to join our Discord channel or go to the description of this video and subscribe. Because that way you'll see when we release our next tool calling example. I briefly mentioned that Llama 3.1 has a really large context window. So to put this in perspective, Llama 3.1 has a context window of over 130k tokens. If you do some simple math, so let's say a rule of thumb is that one token translates to about four characters in English. So you can also say that with the context window of Llama 3.1, you get about 500 something k characters. So an average English worth is five characters. So let's say you have 100k words. If you say that 100k words translates to 200 pages, assuming that one page in a book is roughly 500 words, you come to the conclusion that with Llama 3.1, you can insert a book of like 200 pages. If you know any books, so a book that's 200 pages is, for example, the first Harry Potter novel, or it's also The Great Gatsby. So all these books, you could directly insert them into a prompt for a Llama 3.1 and then ask all sorts of questions against these documents. You don't need to put them in a vector database and do retrieve log to generation. You can directly insert those. If you're using Flows Engine in a free plan, we kept this to a smaller amount of tokens, but you'll still be able to put a document of like 20 or 25 pages directly into a prompt. So this is how easy it is to insert anything into MetaLama 3.1 using what's an Flows Engine. With Flows Engine, you can build all sorts of AI flows and what you saw in this tutorial is only scratch the surface. So make sure to subscribe to our channel, which is the IBM Developer Channel, like this video or join our Discord channel. And of course, it's free to sign up, so please sign up today.